So in this video, what we're going to do is make a side-by-side -side stem and leaf plot. So we're given the ages of uh, males and females. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make basically a three-column table. On the left side, we're going to put the ages of all the females. And on the right side, the ages of the males. And in the middle, this is going to be our stem. And the left side and the right side will be the leaf part of our stem and leaf plot. So let's start with the ages of the males. The lowest age is 19. So the first digit, 1, we're going to put in the stem column. The second digit, 9, we're going to put in the male column. So here's our key. So 1, 9 corresponds to 19. Now let's move on to the 20s. So the ages are 22, 26, and 29 in ascendant order. So we're going to write the numbers 2, and then 6, and then 9. Now between 30 and 40, we have these two numbers, 35 and 36. And there's another 35. So let's write 3. And then 5, 5, 6. Now in the 40s, I only see one number, 46. So we just got to write 4 and then 6. Next, we have 58. So we could just write 5, 8. And the last one is 63. So those are the ages for the males. Now let's move on to the ages of the females. So we're going to use the left side. So the first one that we have here is uh, 18. So all we need to do is put an 8 on the left side. So this corresponds to 18. You have to read it this way. It is kind of weird because typically, I don't know about you, but I'm used to reading things from left to right. So with the side-by-side -side stem and leaf plot, you also have to read things from right to left. So just keep that in mind. Now let's move on to the next set of numbers. We have 25, 27, 28. So the first number in ascendant order will be 5. And it's like writing it backwards. And then 7. And then 8. So you need to increase the numbers in this direction. Now, next, we have uh, 32 and 35. So we're going to write 2 and 5 in the third row. After that, we have two numbers in the 40s, 43 and 47. And then we have 52 and finally 65. So that's how you can make a side-by-side -side stem and leaf plot. For the sake of practice, let's try another example. Feel free to pause the video if you want to work out this example. So what we have here are the heights of girls and boys, let's say, in a typical class. So we're going to make three columns, one for girls, one for the STEM, and the other for boys. So let's start with the girls. The lowest number I see here is 39. So we're going to put a 3 in our stem plot and a 9 on the left side. Next, we have, let's see, 45, 46, 48. By the way, this is the height in inches. So in ascendant order, we're going to put 5, 6, and then 8. Next, we have, let's see, 51, 52, 53, 54 and 56. So we're going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. I believe I got everything. The last one is 60. So we're just going to write 6 and 0. Now let's move on to the next column. So the lowest number for the boys is 37. And then 
there's two numbers in the 40s, 47 and 48. So we're going to write 7 and 8. And then in the 50s, we have 51, 56, 57, 58. So let's write 1, 6, 7, and 8. Finally, in the 60s, we have 62, 63, 65. So let's write 2, 3, and 5. So that's basically it. Now you know how to make a side-by-side -side stem relief plot. Thanks for watching.